Good morning everyone. I'm here to do your What's Cracking reading. I won't be here tomorrow. It is Australia Day. So um, yeah, I'll, I'm taking the day off. Um, you know, for those people who say, you know, who do these readings? When do they resonate? When are they for? Um, I really want to say whenever you watch a reading, it's the right time. So if the title captures you, then your intuition is sort of calling out to you to watch something. So thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for all your beautiful souls who leave messages. I've got the Hierophant jumping out. Hello to all the Virgos. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, my website is now up and running at www.theaussiegoddess.com. I have increased my prices now for um, the first time in about five years, I think. Um, so if you'd like a reading with me, you can go and book, pay for, schedule, whatever you like there. It's all in your hands. Um, if you would like to join or become a member of the channel, everything is underneath the video, but you will have to look on a laptop or on a main, on the main site. You won't get it on the app. Um, if you just want to support the channel, that's fabulous too. Um, what else? What else, Yvonne? I think that's everything. We're going to use the Tarot of the Golden Wheel. I'm going to put these cards away and get all new cards next week. Um, mainly because I sort of get a little bit like wanting to use something new and all my cards, I haven't bought cards in forever and all the cards I have are sort of, you know, been around for a while but it's still beautiful pulling them out the cupboard because it's like pulling out a brand new deck. All right, let's get into this reading. So we're starting off with the Nine of Pentacles. She's another card that has come out quite often lately. The Nine of Pentacles for me is about being independent, self-sufficient. You know, it could be because you've just become single. It could be you've been working on yourself. But whatever it is, it really is about being, feeling like you've dropped in the right place at the right time. It's very synchronistic. It is very sort of spiritual for me, even though it's Pentacles. So it, it sort of means that you've sort of got everything in alignment here, but you're feeling really good. Don't forget, you're only one Pentacle off the 10. So it's almost like you're finishing out a cycle here, feeling really good about what you've done and where you've come from. Beautiful energy. There has been amazing change when the Death card comes around. Sometimes it can be you know, finally understanding some aspects of yourself that you might have been working on. You know, we often talk about our shadow selves, those parts of ourselves that we keep hidden away because we're, you know, ashamed or, or sort of feel guilty about those things that we have. And it's coming to terms with the fact that they're part of who we are and integrating them into our whole. And sometimes that can be uncomfortable. Um, especially if you've been on that narcissistic journey where you've been understanding some of the energies that you've inherited as you've moved through your life. But for me, you know, coming to terms with your shadow, um, which was sort of how Carl Jung put it through. So if you want to read into that a little bit more, it's very interesting. But they are the parts that people told us that they were uncomfortable with. So we put them away because other people were uncomfortable. And there's lots of those that you will find when you're on the journey that you pull forward and think, I'm not really sure why I stuck that away. It really isn't a problem. But you only take somebody to say something to you. You know, um, I had a lot of things that I worked through here um, and I often talk about some of them because I feel like handing over my story sometimes helps you to see your own. Um, I used to be very... Um, private I wouldn't talk to anybody I really kept to myself but as I've got older I've realized that actually it's very engaging when somebody talks about something that you can relate to and I especially found that when I started to really dig into the shadow stuff and I watched things where people were saying things and I was like oh that wasn't just me like you know there are other people out there like that and it always made me feel like I was part of something and I'd grown up for many years feeling like I was on the outside so the death card really tells me there's been great change this is really beautiful energy coming through here because the, the ace of pentacles has come through after I've said you only need one pentacle to get to the ten and it looks as though you've got that one pentacle so there is a brand new beginning now, you've got some communication and a victory card coming through. That's interesting. There is something here, okay, there is something here you've been trying to work on and perhaps you're not quite understanding 
where to go next or what it is that you want from this. But it's like you're sort of stuck in a bit of energy because you may be trying to push yourself to push through further or trying to understand what you need to do next. And I say to people, just sit back on it. Just allow the universe to show you where you need to go next. You know, a lot of people will call me up, especially in regards to readings, and say to me, I feel really stuck. The reason you get stuck is because spirit is allowing you the space to work through something. So, you know, if you're if you're really impatient and you're trying to push through something all the time, waiting for it to come, looking at the future, wondering why it isn't here yet, then you are going to slow down the energy. You have to be open, you have to live in the moment and you have to be mindful about every moment that you pass through. All the time you're pushing forward, trying to make things happen, you're just pushing against the energies and it just doesn't work that way. So if you're stuck, the best thing to do is go out and have a good time, have fun, don't worry about what's coming, trust in that spirit will bring you what you're looking for and I feel like somehow or another it just lands in your lap then. And I often talk, my biggest one is getting messages through the television, through the news, whatever we're watching. Um, I would hear something and think, ah, that's what I need to do or that is reminding me. Um, sometimes I get like messages from the past just sort of reminding me of what I need to do next or where I need to go. So just learn how to just be. Learn how to be. So if that takes meditation, mindfulness, if you can't meditate, mindfulness is the next best thing. And you can do that anytime for just a moment. And most of us now have watches where they have little mindfulness programs built into them just for that minute or that, you know, couple of minutes just to sort of chill out. But I feel like you're at a really good point. It looks like you've done it incredibly well with your journey, but it's almost like the next thing isn't quite showing itself yet because you are not quite ready. So whatever it is you're trying to manifest, its spirit is saying it's there. Just sit back and wait. It will come when it's ready. All right, so we have the Sun card coming out with the King of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. So what in effect is happening is it's, it, it is the promise of a brand new cycle. It is the promise that Nine will take you to the Ten, brand new cycle. But it's sort of something that you've got to finish before you move on. Um, and I feel like looking at this here, you may be waiting on an offer. Um, it could be an offer of work. It could be an offer to get your business off the ground, a grant. Um, it could be just that offer of being able to move into new times. There is a Libra Gemini Aquarius sort of here as well. So it could be you're waiting for an offer, for an offer from a person or somebody it could be legal when the King of Swords comes around for me. Um, it could be as simple as I'm waiting for a new stove to be delivered at the moment and they keep putting it off. So it's gone from being December to January to February. Um, apparently they're, they're you know, having trouble meeting the, the, the uh, demand and obviously a lot of things closed down in January. But I am waiting on that and it is, it is a little bit like I get impatient because I know that when it comes I've got to call someone, I've got to get it installed, you know, all of those sort of things. But the thing is I can't make it happen sooner no matter what I do. No amount of wishing and wanting and desire is going to make it come any quicker. So I have to just sit back and say well they've told me February I have to wait till they get back in touch with me. And I feel like this is the energy that is here at the moment. It's like we need to finish something or get something done. I know that's a bit of a loose thing, but we're waiting to get something done. But it's like we're pushing for the next stage. And I feel like I want to say to you, just be patient with yourself. Go out and sort of have, I don't know, take a walk barefoot on the ground. Like really get back to being yourself because whatever it is, is coming. It's just taking its time. All right, so we have a lot of tens in this reading and a lot of anxiety and stress coming through here. Whatever this is, you know, I've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands here. Both of them are aching to come in. Both of them are on their way. Both of them want to be here, but 
whatever these are, whether it's money or to do with passion, drive, maybe you're waiting for that university to get back to you, say you've been accepted. Maybe it's a job where you applied for before Christmas, but they said we're not making a decision until the new year. Whatever it is, it's sort of you can't make it move quicker. And you're fighting against the energy of the universe. So whatever it is here, there is, oh, look, Ace of Swords. So it's almost like, um, and the judgments come out right behind it. So if it's an opportunity that you missed out on the first time around, then it's coming round again. But again, focusing on the future, focusing on what you don't have, all bring in elements of lack and all bring in elements of impatience. And we need that temperance energy. We need that energy to be where we are or we to be where the energy is, which is that energy of just being. It's just about being. And this is about being in your truth, being true to who you are. There is an opportunity coming to you here. And I feel like somehow or another I've been feeling this for a little while. So maybe with an opportunity for some of you, it may be that you're waiting for a person, romance, love. It's almost like the universe is saying it's there, it's on your plate, it's ready to be served, but it's not quite hot enough yet. All right, and then look. So we have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups coming right at the, at the peak of the reading. So some sort of 11.22 on the clock. It's you've got to trust in your truth. You've got to trust in the universe. You cannot drive things that aren't meant to happen. And if you keep driving and looking towards the future, you're going to make yourself quite anxious. And looking into the future will always create anxiety. We all do it. What if? What if it doesn't? What if it does? Well, what if it does or doesn't? It doesn't make a difference. You're not going to find out any sooner. It'll come to you when you're ready. So I love that you've got the Ace of Cups at the end because I'm feeling that perhaps you're really close to being to a point where you're feeling what self-love feels like. And now you're waiting for something more to happen. But it's almost like you've got to be just bathing in this light for a little while before the next best thing comes through. For some of you, it might well be romance. It might well be, um, it could be a job because I see that Knight of Pentacles next to the King of Swords. It could be romance with that Knight of Wands in the middle. It could be that you're looking for a new home and the right one hasn't come on the market. Perhaps you just haven't seen exactly what you wanted. But we've got a reading here that starts off with the sun and ends with the Ace of Cups. Now, if you've been watching readings for a while, you know how beautiful this energy is. Could be a Leo who's coming in with that sun there. But I see you're ready. You've made a lot of change. But this is about, there's the third Ace. So you've actually got three Aces in this reading. So when I say new beginnings, opportunities, they are all coming but maybe just aren't quite right. You're waiting on some sort of communication, I feel, and the victory card's right behind that. So just remember that it's on its way and just live. Have fun. Go out. Go walking. Go, you know, walking in the early morning sunlight. That's always the best feeling of the day when the sun's just getting warm and you can sort of feel it on your body. Um, really soak up that energy because whatever it is, it's coming. All right. For you an oracle card from the Mystical Shaman Oracle. Hmm, that was a funny little noise there. Something's falling over. All right, we have the Earth Keeper coming through. How hmm. interesting when I'm talking about um, it's 81, but it's a nine card again. So there's another indication that a cycle is about to close out and take you to the next energy. All right, next phase of your life coming through. Just as you're involved in co-creating your world, see there it is right there. You are also responsible for its well-being. The earth keepers are dedicated to the stewardship of the earth and all life. They choose to hold the sacred dream of planet. So this is about you know, respecting your surroundings, loving where you live, being, you know, if you're one step forward, you know, making sure you're recycling and keeping the planet clean. Um, 
but in the invitation it says you've outgrown your small dream of success and achievement and you're ready to dream big with possibilities beyond your wildest expectations. So I feel like somehow or another it's talking about cleaning up and I always think you know for people like myself and I know not everybody is like me believe me but somehow or another when things are uncluttered in your world you feel uncluttered in yourself. Now, for some people, they love living like that. And I got that years ago because I used to have a manager who used to tell me my desk was too clean. So therefore, I wasn't getting any work done. Really and truly, I was doing twice as much work as I should have done, but I just hate being in a mess. So I would clean up as I go. I watch my partner in the kitchen and by the time he's finished, it just looks like a major calamity. Whereas when I'm cooking, I clean as I go. Um, it's just different types of personalities. I think some people feel very comfortable in their mess. Some people with ADHD find mess really hard to cope with. So, you know, if you get overwhelmed with it, that's a bit of a problem. But I feel like somehow this is telling you to sort of why you've got the time, while things are sort of moving very slowly, maybe it's a good time to clean up something in your own life. So it might be about cleaning, you know, you where you live it might be about cleaning stuff out of yourself maybe that's the end of the cycle to release things that are no longer serving you sometimes decluttering our mind is a really really good thing and it can be really tremendous if you're overthinking all the time to just bring your mind to a moment of peace so if it is about your mind and your mind is cluttered really get into that meditation or mindfulness help yourself to just have that freedom of having a clear way of thinking but i feel like something big is coming for many of you something big is coming so i think you've done the work and things are starting to turn around all right i'll leave you with that thank you